I'll get you a bite. Yeah. Happy it's over yet. Um, I, I was just getting the hang of it. <laughs> I'm real proud of all of us and we all, and we all uh, made it to the end of so, Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> Some six months ago. It looked like a very long and nearly impossible road to hope. And now it's one more show, and just one more show. reason the combination of the three work nicely. I, I can't let go. I don't come shooting at the back. Another one? Take cold beer from Holland out of the ice. In the cooler, my cooler. You do that, and you have a burger in your hotel. Yeah. Ready to come out of here. And I lift it oh so gingerly, of course, not to moose with the bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. Uncapped fine barley and hops. This is my spirulina, my elk antler, my. Um, Got some sort of a balancing herb in there to get the yin and the yang. Swill it. Smoke a couple of cigarettes too on that. Gay cigarette? Yeah. Edit. See? I like to smoke our tea. I need our ginseng root and our deer antler and our Yohim Bay bark extract. And we smoke. These things to kind of bring us strength and upward mobility to better performance. And it's good. It gets me uh, in the mood for what I need to, to do. I had to play the drums for the Red Hot Chili Pepper. <laughs> Film the pregnant child, the baby making babies. I shall be right standing right out there in the blue sweater. Due in December. Due in December. Due in July of year 2001. <laughs> and she's already, she's already given birth. And, and Josh is the father of all three. <laughs> I've been on the road for 18 months. I left my daughters at three. They're four and a half now. One third of their lives I've been on the road on this tour. I started off, I was a tortured man, now I'm happy. I remember after the first little like European leg we did and I felt awful at the end of it and I was just like, fuck, I gotta change the way I'm doing this, you know? Like, I, I ended up feeling so much worse at the end than I did at the beginning. I was like, I can't, I gotta do something to where I feel Dudley are at the end of the tour than I do at the beginning. You know? Ever since then, it's been good. When we started off, I had like a intense anxiety attacks, out of control anxiety attacks like every hour. Like where I would get cold sweat, start sweating and shaking, couldn't talk. Now it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Everything better now. Yeah. Yeah. Happiness. Good. Now, like, it's good. Being in my skin is a good place to be. Disorganized. We're disorganized. Yeah, which is the thing about the last show where you're like, there's no more. I don't give a final half. I can do whatever I want tomorrow. You know what I mean? You're not holding on to anything anymore. You know? 
And then we tried to hold on and try to leave it all out there. Yeah. I know, me, me too, but I know at the last show, I succeeded in even more. I don't know, maybe. I'm doing, I'm going, this is the last time I'm doing this. <laughs> Tell you something about this vest, Dickie. Have you heard of a little group called Funkadelic? Alex Green. Have you heard of a little guy called Fuzzy Haskins? You haven't? Well, Fuzzy Haskins was one of the original Funkadelics. And the outfit that he used to wear was this leather vest, which was given to me by his son, Noel Haskins. And this is an original Funkadelic vest. Fuzzy Haskins is. I sport it. Pack it back with a little ginseng. Ginseng chaser. I'm really ready to go play a show here. Already. There's a lot of other top ones. They're ready. We're ready. Group killer. Everything. Thanks to all you guys, because this has been the best couple of years of my life. Amen. Yeah. Let's go get it. Let's go get it.